What's up, buddy? Izzy, no! You're not streaming this, I assume. No, no. All right, I wouldn't want you I, to get, I'd get in trouble. Man. Yeah, you get in trouble. <laughs> Izzy, we used to be such friends. What happened? Uh, all, right, all, right, all right, before we go into all this, it has been ages. How are you doing? I'm, I'm doing wonderfully. I'm, I'm disheartened, as always, by the state of the online left, but I personally am doing well. How are you doing? Uh, doing pretty good, doing pretty good. Did the huge, huge push for partner. Twitch waited over a month to deny me for the 10th time because they had to wait a month to say that I didn't meet the requirements. So got disheartened, started playing a lot of games, haven't been as politically active over the last month, but it's just kind of like a, you know, a little break, just relaxing a bit, taking some me time. That's fair. Fuck politics. I love my video game streams. <laughs> right, right. Sure, sure. Which are heavily no, political I, anyway. I, but... I get asked about you all the time, and I say that we used to actually be pretty close friends, and I feel like that's a fair uh, descriptor. Yeah, um, wait, what the fuck happened? Was it the thought slime drama that turned that turned you around? No, it wasn't. It wasn't specifically just the thought slime drama. I've actually, um, and this is the way I word it when other people ask, because I'm sure people will go like hunting for clips now when other people ask. Because like, I don't want to like openly shit talk you or drag you, but as someone who was pretty close with you personally online, uh, I, it's some of your takes have been pretty disappointing lately, and it just seems to keep going in that arc. I'm ready. Hit me up. Um. So yeah, I don't I don't know. Your chat's like fucking flaming and getting really mad at me. I like I hope y'all aren't expecting blood sports. Like, Bosch still does good shit. I still share a ton of overlapping community with you. By the way, a bunch of the people whose names are in your chat are often in mine. Like, this isn't some big personal vendetta. I just don't think that you take any actual critique. I think you ignore it all and assume you're one hundred percent correct from the beginning. I mean, most critique is really, really bad. I think that when you're exposed to a bunch of opinions on whatever takes you're giving, it's likely that the majority of those opinions are going to be pretty fucking misinformed. I try my best to be open to criticism when I see it fit, but this most recent incident was literally somebody misinterpreting a statement I thought was so clear it was to be misinterpreted, un um, for, for for the 30 second clip that they took. Out of context, mind, so this is already being done in bad faith. For them to take from that that I'm saying that a, that you're no longer non-binary if a straight person likes you, which is what I saw a lot of people interpreting from that clip. That's wild to me. I don't think people who are that incapable of critical analysis have any business telling me how to um, how to mind my interpretation of trans issues. Right. Okay. This isn't just from the, the one thing for me, and I'll, I'll definitely I'll start giving some more uh, precise examples. Let me go give a shout out, tell people I'm on here too, see if we can't bring in a few more people as a result for you. But because hopefully if you got other critiques and your actual problem, like you were just saying, is that no one will actually come in and talk with you. People absolutely should. Um, you, you know me, I'm always for actually fucking defending what I have a problem with and actually calling out and explaining. And that's what I'm going to try to fucking do. Yeah. Hit me up. What specific takes do you think I've been misguided on? um so we got a lot that i could go hella deep in on um i'll start with the uh the stone toss comic i disagree that that formats can't be used in any way that would be funny that wouldn't be offensive to one minority culture you don't think there's any way to engage in performative mm -hmm. cruelty without hurting minority groups there there potentially could be with other certain jokes but laughing at that one is just kind of gross in my opinion so your so your issue is with me what, what community hmm? what community could you put that same like joke set up to like you say um where it would be funny and it wouldn't be like uh being used as some tool of oppression or punching down oh easily yeah um if a cop got a hold of it now finally we can enact justice and then 40 percent of cops wives disappeared i think that'd be fucking hilarious i'll give you that one Okay, I had not considered the cop. I looked. I tried to look at it in as many ways as I could. I thought about Nazis. There's no way. What would they do? Snap and then go on like a shooting rampage, and only one Nazi dies for like thirty victims. I think you um, could get like if the Nazis snap it too. Then like I don't know how you would signpost this in the comic because these aren't like immediately visible traits. But every like every like weeb or every like what they would call a degenerate because Nazis purge their own all the time, you know. And most of them are massive hypocrites. You'd be like, finally right. now we'll cut out, we'll destroy the degeneracy in society, and they snap and they're all gone or something. I think that I think there are ways that format could be applied. I don't think that the 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 transphobia itself is like the driving element there. But I think the setup and punchline are a really great example of how performative cruelty can reinforce biases that the viewer didn't previously even know they had yeah that's that's my worry with it is like the 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 way that sharing those little things or laughing or being publicly like supporting of them usually does actually reinforce like biases whether the person is like consciously aware of them or not which would also take me to one of my other critiques of you like even when you're like uh, so i'm not going to take you out of context here i want to give you full context and if you don't feel like i am at any point please like pause and elaborate by the way 
but like the clip you just reviewed where you were imitating Blair White being a smart ass and you used the T-slur, right? Mm-hmm. You weren't using the T-slur as you trying to be like openly demeaning. You're making fun of some shitlord. But all studies show even people in those communities, because when we originally talked, you don't really identify as cis male. I, I don't think you really fall anywhere on no, I, give a I, fuck of gender. I, I generally call myself cis for like for the sake of, uh, I guess, normalcy or for convenience for reference. But I personally don't really care about gender identity. Right. So, I mean, I, I don't really say that you're like uh, openly trans, but I also don't really like lump you in a cis. Um, and that's just trying to be as you know charitable as possible to how you just don't really identify with gender, which I can get behind. <laughs> you, could, you could probably uh, fair me. I, whatever, the, whatever I may personally go by, I benefit from every privilege a cis person could. So I'm perfectly true. comfortable being called that. True. Um, but uh, even if you like were openly like me, OK, a uh, trans person, all studies show like if I use dark humor like that, right, if I if I go into the gallows humor and I use actual slurs, my community is going to understand that joke. My community is going to get that joke and my community is going to love it. Right. Mm-hmm. But all of the cis or cishet or normative people that hear that and then use that joke to go and repeat it and tell a punchline and sound like it's coming from a trans person so it's okay, continues to reinforce those negative biases in other people, and the bad tends to outweigh the good from all the studies we have seen. I did a full video with like linked sources if you want to check it out. I actually do YouTube now, by the way. I got a couple of actual video essays up with like full costumes and shit. I yeah. um I don't ha- of course I don't have congrats on the YouTube channel I don't have uh, the studies in front of me so I can't engage with those directly all I can say is that to me it's a pretty it's a calculated risk between two different variables how many more people can I get on board with my arguments by using irreverent edgy terminology which I say saying the T slur in that context undeniably is um, as opposed to how much am I reinforcing the preternatural biases that people in my community may have now well obviously your opinion on where this falls is going to determine be determined largely by your opinion of my community and i am biased obviously my community seems to me like a fairly progressive place with a hugely pro-trans bias almost a, to a pathological extent i swear they would if, if some serial killer came out as trans they would start supporting them um so when i get that impression from them i feel as though the potential harm being done by me making a joke like that about blair white is relatively minor but my broader appeal is being able to appeal to people who might find that kind of edgy humor uh, appealing but you see that's exactly my worry right because then it's reinforcing the biases in that like slightly edgy uh subtle uh bias that exists in those uh, other people that are going to hear it and with you having a platform that's going to get exposed to more and more people even more than just the ones you see actively chatting also to your chat because i know you wouldn't want them doing it and i don't think anyone's doing it intentionally it's she her pronouns and yes i am vaping get the memes out do your thing yeah you can make Um, fun of her for vaping that's fine i give you all permission (laughs) Um, yeah, I just I don't I don't mind that much. I think that even though it may initially reinforce the biases of some people, those people are either a pro- probably me using that the T slur in self referential making fun of Blair White way. I'm not like um, it, it reinforces a bias in some groups. I cannot deny that. But I don't think I'm lending these people any new arguments or any new perspectives that would reinforce their previous biases. It's mostly just a sort of status quo enabling. Same thing they would see if they just spent a moment on 4chan. But for some of those people, my ability to engage in that irreverent language is going to give them an in where they're like, oh, hey, this guy isn't like the other leftists. He's edgy. He gets it. And then they'll watch for a bit. And that's my in to not only not reinforce their bias, but turn them into a fucking queer like the rest of my community and that's what i go for i think that the potential for a broad relatively infinitesimal reinforcement of negative values is worth a trade-off of being able to get the really good value saddled onto the few that stay and listen so i'm gonna i'm gonna shoot you some of the studies i feel like it would be like because we're we're doing this in like a live public format i don't think that either of us is going to want to dig through studies right now and actually break it down Mm -hmm. but i do know that you give a shit and you'll look at them so the whole reason i'm saying this and it's going to be really hard to like do it in some fast easy palatable way but um those exact things you're saying you are wrong um reinforcing those negative things does actually harm even in a community where you think it doesn't because the people who continually talk like this accidentally reinforce biases of people around them without even knowing they're doing it like studies were done on people who use like private uh racist remarks and things in like a private setting with fr- family or I'm friends that they don't studies because believe they to used, be racist they're used in the k quarantine thing uh, in his discussion with um with destiny were they not are these some of the same studies uh, some of them, yes, and more. 
I don't yeah. think these are applicable to what I'm referring to. I agree that using prejudiced I, language can reinforce biases in those who listen. I don't think those studies take into account the much broader effect of me engaging in active pro-trans advocacy that can only reach people if they have a reason to listen to me in the first place. I don't think that's a variable that can be accounted for in those studies. If we're talking about individuals privately using the T-slur or other language like that, I would discourage them from doing so because they don't have that counterweight to make their um, potential reinforcement of biases worthwhile in the long run. I, I don't understand how you can weigh that to where like you do so much good that it outweighs the bad. Like you're still doing bad. Because the like bad that... allows people to listen to me and change their mind. And that's the good. Every day I get emails from people saying I pulled them off the uh, the alt-right reactionary stuff. And a lot of them say they did it because I like, didn't come off like the the ordinary leftist when they first heard me because I was edgy or or like we've dipshitty. yeah and we've talked about this before like I, I don't play the the same hurt feelings and ban out anything that i just automatically disagree with i do a bunch of debating i drag people through the fucking mud like yeah but i feel like a lot of this dirtbag left uh, like is now shifting to a lot less of that up front and a lot more of the beginnings of the anti-sjw left because it's becoming more and more prominent anyone who does get critiqued when it when it feels to a community like they're crossing the line ignores that critique you and contra are prime fucking examples i have i have big takes with contra my first video that as my largest viewed one was literally kill your heroes and it's about this idea that you raise someone so high up on a pedestal and say that they do so much good that you don't have to worry about the bad they do their bad doesn't fucking matter at all like that it's not a shield like doing some positive doesn't erase the harm that you're still actively yeah doing. i strongly disagree with this the idea that we should spend all of our time ruthlessly critiquing and taking down our content creators because they do small amounts of harm and leverage to the huge good they do oh, i think even in that video and all the way up to this date i've never said cancel anyone i've never said stop watching their content i've never said they've hell i said i'm not watching fucking contra anymore and it's not because she's done harm it's because she won't actually listen to anything that happens so i'm no longer interested because she is doing active harm wait well th what's that's tomato tomato you're no longer watching her because she's doing harm right but i don't actively call for like canceling and say no one should partake in their fucking content or you're a piece of shit if you do i don't actively say that like they shouldn't be making content no contra still does do some good but like that's not it's not okay to ignore the bad like content creators should feel open to critique content creators should be I, I willing do, to try and do better i disagree entirely that doesn't seem like what you were doing reviewing all those clips earlier there was nothing in those clips that was a worthwhile critique they were clips of me taken out of context to reinforce a perspective of me which is largely inaccurate they weren't arguments and for that reason i didn't treat them as such contrapoints has taken into consideration the things said about her i've spoken to her um many of the arguments against her are just anemic um, I've looked at all of this drama, this purported NB-phobia she's engaged in. I agree she's engaged in some bad optics, could have handled some situations better than others. I wouldn't disagree with that at all. And that there are some ways in which she could have done better. But I don't think that's the same as saying she's a pattern of NB-phobia, and I certainly don't think it's a justification of the broader persecution that she's seen at the hands of some components of our community. I, I think anyone going to the extremist level of death threats and doxing is a worthless piece of shit. I'll give you that in a heartbeat. Further um, than that, even even much lighter than that too. Saying that she's an envy phobe, or saying that uh, she's a bigot, or that she's an I said that she's idea. made harmful statements, and that's what I'll hold true. And no one has ever seemed like they're reacting or responding or considering that in the least. And I know tons of other like thousands of other have engaged in the same type of critique that i have and you know i wish people weren't dog piley about it and it wasn't being mass spammed but once again she's like the face and forefront of the online trans movement and she's making statements that harm non-passing trans people she is no, making she statements isn't. that harm non-binary yeah the fuck she's not yes she's not she, she's she, invoked she can her literally be directly quoted that she's seen people with a full beard and full boy mode still saying she her as in having a beard invalidates them as in having facial hair invalidates their I don't fucking think gender identity? The implication of that statement wasn't that the gender identity is invalid, only that their presentation is a contradiction to what one would expect of that gender identity, which is an inarguable fact. At no point has Contra said their gender identity is invalid for how they presented. Oh, man. Mm. Why are you misinterpreting your statements so uncharitable? I'm not misinterpreting your statements at all. Do you think I'm looking at can how the wider me? scope of society is going to take the statements that she well, says? Wait, 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 well, then that's a different. Well, and for the one, that's a different going statement. To have. Those are different because statements. You can't say really? she said that's... blank and then say, oh, well, actually, this is how society is going to interpret it. Those that are... is what she said. And the problem is how it's going to be interpreted with, as I said at the beginning, her being seen as one of the largest faces of the online trans presence and, and fucking existence. The, how many people tell you the first interaction or first like 
uh, introduction to trans topics was from Contra. I hear it all every fucking day. Yes, and she's done a phenomenal job. She's not doing the best that she could. She is actually fucking up actively in multiple situations. How so? Um, the statements like that one, the statements about fucking uh, pronoun an introductions, the statements about fucking. But I don't have um, an issue with either of those statements. <laughs> I, I don't know how better to explain to the, to you that you should. I guess why why do you take no issue with that? Because I am a trans woman who you know for a fact I don't pass. I'm very aware of the factor that I don't pass, and it does actually cause me a lot of shit in my life. And when I did No Shave November as a fucking content creator and had a full beard, I still used she/her fucking pronouns while raising a few thousand dollars for cancer treatments. Like I don't think contrapoints would tell you you're not a woman because you had a beard. Oy vey. Do you disagree with what I just said? Do you think Contra I believe her tweets felt really fucking invalidating to anyone who doesn't have okay, her level well, of passing we're, privilege we're, because well, well, they can't well, we're afford jumping it. Around, we're jumping around different points right now. So to my knowledge, ContraPoints has made multiple statements on how one's ability to present as the gender that they identify as, it's largely affected by um, physical attributes, many of which that she is privileged to be able to augment through her wealth. She has made videos on that, um, on that particular subject. And with regards to the pronoun usage, she merely expressed her personal opinion that for her specifically, everyone doing these little pronoun sharing circles can feel invalidating to her because in non-trans friendly circles, she is treated plainly and flatly as a woman in all respects, but in hyper woke circles, um, everyone sort of eyes her expectantly waiting for the pronoun drop because she knows they know that she's trans and she gets treated like it. I know that's not everyone's experience her, and so does she. She made that her, clear. Her entire statement about that would have been completely fine and just her opinion and not been invalidating to people if she hadn't added like the last sentence and a half to two sentence where this is only for non-binary people because it's absolutely not like actually normalizing and introducing pronouns helps the trans community massively overall. And the trick is to try and get cis people to introduce with their pronouns whether or not they think there's a trans person in the room. If it is only happening because there is a trans person in the room, then yeah, that's really shitty, which is what she started off as trying to portray but then that extra tidbit at the end is where it just went off the fucking rails and started to make people uncomfortable and bother them never said because it's like such an i used to have she, all these in a fucking quick file and i deleted them off my drive she just I said that she personally didn't like it very much because it made her feel worse she didn't say they were bad or that people shouldn't do them and i certainly don't think she said that non-passing trans people don't benefit from those um from those uh, little pronoun circles. She specifically said at the end that this is only for the only people who do benefit from this are non-binary people. I would like need to see the and literally again. used the words. It's such an inconvenience to her uh, because she passes. Like it's literally all about her passing privilege. Wait, 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 that wait. Does... That's but that's true. It she's tweeting about her experience, and it is an inconvenience to her. Right, but then she added that extra unnecessary tidbit. That's where that tweet became a problem. Yeah, I don't have the links anymore if somebody does. Oh, sorry, I muted myself. Chat, if you're you free to bring up links of that specific tweet chain, because I'm relatively certain that she also mentioned non-passing trans people. For some reason, I have my mute button on my down arrow key, so anytime I'm trying to search for something, I invariably right. She, she, if she added non-passing trans people in there, that still doesn't change or invalidate the fact that this is all because of her fucking personal passing privilege, and she's condemning it like she, it's bad. No, she's saying that's her personal experience. She's sharing her experience, she, and she's saying it's not bad, just that she personally would prefer this or that. I, I mean, then, like, I can't believe we can like, we're literally, this we're literally into, I'm not like, arguing over just this one tweet, though. That's the thing is now we're like hyper focusing on it. She's had a pattern of doing these over and over one at a it's time. It's always that. It's there's always been, like, the pattern. Five. Always every time an example comes up, that example gets blown the fuck out. And then there's a pattern. The same thing happens to me. Vosh has a pattern of behavior. Oh, give me an example. Oh, here's one example. Oh, well, that's misrepresented. Oh, that's a stupid point. Oh, well, there's a pattern. I don't care about the patterns. I need specific examples that I can argue over. And this, I don't think she did anything wrong. She, a trans 
woman shared her personal experience when it comes to the sharing of pronouns. I think that's her right. And it seems like she made credence to express the fact that other people, like non-passing trans people or non-binary people, do benefit from sharing pronouns in that way. So I don't have yeah, an issue. As, with as a non-passing person who read that, and as someone who talks with a fuck ton of the community who um, represent those people, we don't feel that that was done in a validating way like you're trying to that's present That's not an it. argument. It wasn't done in a positive way. And that is the massive overall impact that came from it and this isn't just about even just those two tweets she's done this like three or four fucking times throughout and like the problem here is like okay if you're if you're expressing your own personal that's fine you're gonna have some little personal yikesy fucking takes when you're constantly told that this is problematic and hurts members of your community when worded this way why do you not at least put forth this the isn't least an argument this is literally feels over facts i need arguments because this argument that just because a bunch of people are hurt you're not listening to us a bunch of people get hurt with the shit i say all the time i don't give a fuck about them because they're neo-nazis the fact that people are upset by the things that I say is not in Those aren't the only argument. people that get hurt by what you say, Vosh. Well, that's the thing. Then why do I only have to listen to the feelings of the woke community and not to the feelings of the Nazis? Are they less You're... human than you? I like to listen to arguments, not to the feelings of people yeah. who are upset. People get upset over all stupid shit all the time. When you have all of these other people who are watching you that don't believe the same things as you do and you're giving these, it kind of hurts the communities that you want to help when you give like bad or fucking invalidating takes. And it's not the end of the world. We all do it. I make fucking mistakes as a content creator too. Like it gets really fucking annoying and it sucks and you have to figure it out. But the difference is being able to actually look at it and go, okay, I'm sorry. I see how that might've phased some of you. Here's a better way to phrase it and I'll try to work on that in the future. Instead of just saying, no, I'm right, fuck you. If you disagree with me, you're scum that lives in mommy's basement. You've got no life and you're only concerned with fucking social capital. I find all of that fucking hilarious because I disagree with some of the shit you've said. I dis definitely disagree with a lot of the shit Contra said. And earlier you said anyone critiquing Contra is like a basement fucking femoid who only cares about canceling people for social capital, yada, yada, yada. But uh anecdotally we know i don't fit that fucking descriptor at all i mean uh, literally there are plenty of fucking people who have actual genuine critiques of mistakes that people are making and nobody wants to fucking hear well, them then just why do i keep this, hearing this about is the feels critiques. over facts why do i keep hearing about the critiques and not hearing the critiques because i've given you critiques and you won't listen to them you're just like I, no, that's, no this that's is the problem right. that i have with, right. with this right. is the problem that i have here I have listened. I disagree. I've explained the reasons why I disagree, but you still characterize that as me not listening. A counter argument isn't ignorance. It's me disagreeing with you. This is what I mean. I've told this you is how it I affects mean. like the fucking community as a whole. You've like, given I don't know me, how much further given the detail me I'm supposed your to go. feelings. The arguments you have given, I have responded to them. This is They're the not issue. just my feelings. Like this is the feelings of like thousands and thousands of people critiquing our very care. And there are thousands and thousands of people who say that those critiques are invalid. Feel these are feelings. You're giving feelings. I need the arguments. This is exactly what people say. We should ban all immigration to our country. Why? Well, uh, folks don't like it. They don't like their culture being destroyed. Well, sure. Give me some arguments. Why shouldn't they come in? Well, folks don't like it. What the fuck do you when mean? I've tried to hand you facts on in, uh, any of the fucking topics we've talked about. You said you disagree with how those relate to it when very clearly the studies showed that they very fucking... The studies, the study, I gave specific saying. reason why the study you provided doesn't relate to the experiences of a left-leaning content creator who is using a particular strategy to get people on board, an effective strategy, mind you, considering the size of my audience and how many people have managed to get on board in such a short time. So I don't think that study is particularly applicable, but I agree with its pertinence in regards to interpersonal interactions, with regards to the arguments you've given surrounding contract. And you and don't think that's in the least bit applicable to parasocial. You don't think that's going to phase how a lot of your viewers or a lot of your non-fans who hear it are still going to go and interact with other people and the quotes that are going to be made. Well, this is a good thing. You really the don't vast see... majority of my content is extremely progressive, where I encourage people to be good, you know, out in their day-to-day -day lives. It's not like this right. is being done in a and vacuum. that's fine, but like you can't just wave off everything where you do kind of cross a line that fucking uh, like really bothers people and potentially causes actual fucking harm. I'm not harm. waving that's it off. Point. I'm explaining why I think that the, the the metrics are valid in this respect. That I think the good I do through my strategies make those strategies worthwhile. I, I don't think that good uh, erases bad. Like you're still, you can still, you, you, the whole point is there. That's like our key disagreement. And I don't know how we can get to it because this is not something, this is because like I couldn't do all the theoretical. Good. We can't actually like measure this and say, I this is the guaranteed I couldn't result. do the bad. I'm sorry, I couldn't do the good, which is to reach the, the number of people I do and expose them to the progressive content that I produce without the bad, which is engaging in the edgy advocacy that allows people to change their minds on me. When people who are 
far right-leaning view your content, there is nothing that you can say that will make them see you as anything other than like a subhuman. Because that's how they are. Their brains are just wired wrong. But when I, an edgy fucking dude who's over here warbling and occasionally saying slurs, I can approach them on a level that they might see some respectability on. And two or three months down the line, they might listen to the things that I have to say. And I consider that an enormous good. The ability to reach people on that level, even if that means that occasionally some people have to get their feelings hurt, that is an inextricable consequence of the broader good that is done. And I think that's worthwhile. And I think about it every day. It's not like I don't take these into consideration. I feel it very insulting or patronizing when people accuse me of not listening to the people who criticize me. When I do listen, I respond to those criticisms and I move on doing the best thing I think I can do. What, what that literally like brings me back to is exactly why I haven't said you or Contra or anybody else is fucking canceled. You shouldn't make content, yada, 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 yada. My point is you think your way is infallible. And then when people critique you, you like slam and haunt on them without seeming to understand why people are affected or feel bothered. I and do that's understand. The and I respond to those arguments. I don't ignore them. I respond to them. There's a difference. Do you think it's possible for me to disagree with like a trans woman on trans issues and for me to disagree and walk away from that, continuing to disagree and to have actually engaged with the argument and walk it away? Or am I just ignoring them by default? I just have to listen to what the, the majority says. Everything I've seen, on, and to be fair, I don't, I like, I just like you don't have the time to watch other fucking content creators 24 seven. I don't have the same fucking time for you. So like, I don't see a whole lot of, of your excess content. I see like the clips that get you. And then I try to go watch that full stream so that I have the content because I don't ever want to like just shit on you in bad faith and say that you're a piece of shit. Even when I still bring it up, I talk about the fucking good that you do and the factor that you do have a large audience and that you are specifically aiming to de-radicalize people and i think from the very first time we met we talked about what i believe in which is like the more unified left and we do have to have room for like dirtbag left tactics we do have to have room for like the super woke and we do need like this this spectrum at working together so what and we happened? need that because i'm not I, like i'm not even like even remotely reactionary and i've calmed down with the dirtbag stuff quite a bit i feel like my content is mostly orthodox i've gotten less edgy with time but it feels like the people who criticize me from the beginning have the same criticize uh, the same criticisms with the same group of people. It feels like it's an identity status thing. It's not an actual response to my arguments, which is why these people don't ever make arguments. They block me on Twitter. They block my fans on Twitter. They have huge block lists. They never engage with opposition. They don't respond to my invites to talk about anything. And they don't type out arguments themselves. They just type out laundry lists of my perceived moral sins without having to provide any context other than three second out of, uh, you know, out of context clips on streamable it's incredibly frustrating uh, I, I will like 100% say um, I, I actually cannot stand the people who do that shit. I agree with you entirely. Like if you're going to have a problem with someone, especially if you're a content creator, okay? Like if you're an individual who watches, maybe not so much, but if you're a content creator like me, if you're a content creator like you, et cetera, or these other content creators that are critiquing you and you're going to publicly talk some shit or disagree with someone, you should be ready to back that up and come in here and talk. Whether or not you're going to feel like you won, lost, express, yada, yada, or if it was all feels like a huge fucking waste of time. If you're going to run your mouth and say it to your followers and your fans, you should absolutely step the fuck up and do this right here vosh and i haven't talked in ages those dms have been open this whole time for anyone who didn't hear it i private dm'd him because we have a history his dms have been open to me for fucking ages this whole time when talking about you i haven't come to you directly and i haven't tried to start a big fucking between us because i know the memes are going to come from this and people are going to try to stir the fucking drama pot for ages so remember at the end of the day i love you boo oh that's but, fine um, i love the drama pot i only benefit it from it like algorithm wise the just i don't true. understand i only i just the thing that really bothers me is that i and you've done this too so you can't walk away from this people say i have arguments against you and they provide one or two and those arguments get run through and i give my counter arguments and then they back up and say well there's a pattern or well other people but we can this. keep talking about other ones we we really derailed on specific ones so like we can keep going in general um yeah i don't like the way that when uh large members of the community do you have an issue with you you seem just really fucking dismissive of the trans community now i know you do have like a fucking fuck ton of trans and non-binary people in your fucking audience still i get it but i haven't seen any of that that's not to say it doesn't exist you're, you're more than welcome to tell me that i'm fucking wrong on this and that you have addressed it i haven't seen the addressing of it so it just felt pretty fucking cold shoulder to me but i assume you responded to it but now that today because the the new drama was so fresh i pulled up youtube and it showed you live so i was watching you respond and the response i saw today 
day didn't look very fucking healthy. So if that's how you've been responding the whole time, then I don't think you're actually taking any of the critique seriously. I mean, I don't care whether or not a person is trans if they're making a critique of my behavior or opinions. I just care about the validity of the argument. Whether or not they're trans can inform their experiences leading into that argument. I don't disagree with that. But um, I don't think that arguments are made more valid by them having come from a trans person. What what about uh, the earlier uh, NB thing do you think was invalid? Um I, from what I've from what I've really fucking seen like the the clip you reacted to and still said is true like all the fucking trans people against contra are fucking basement dwelling assholes. Um when the trans community has said you've made some yikes statements in the past, I ha I don't have the exact clips of that and this has been a while. I'm very sorry I can't give you an exact on this one. I just know what's happened and I can't remember in detail. Um cuz I wasn't prepared for this to be a big in-depth fucking debate. Yeah, I just you don't saw you live today and heard this shit. anything. I just want like concrete examples of my misbehavior. I, I would have to come back to you probably at a different time with that thing because I don't have the exact fucking receipts up. I just know that what I saw today definitely didn't look very fucking healthy. And if that's what's been happening this whole time, maybe I should have fucking commented earlier that this isn't the right. But um, we well, got yeah, most uh, of Contra's more critics. so like oh, oh, yesterday. Sorry. All right. You talked about fucking he him lesbians and non-binary people and it doesn't seem like you actually knew what you were talking about you didn't like go aggressively intentionally harmful it just really actually sounds like you don't know what the fuck you're talking about there um well i believe i said that he him lesbians seems a little bit oxymoronic because lesbian is traditionally meant to refer a woman with a woman however words uh change and that identity is stupid anyway so identify however you want to identify i believe this that was isn't a new change and that's this is what i mean like this is something where you didn't actually know where it came from and you talked about it, and now it's like this wait, huge controversy. Wait, 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 and everybody's wait, wait. Like if you're going to, you. if you're going to ascribe for one, people are shitting on me for the thing where they interpreted me as saying that NB people aren't NB if straight people like them. Not for this lesbian oh, thing. Okay. Uh, um, well, well, we'll get into that too. But, but like, as for as um, for the lesbian thing, I understand there are some aspects of like queer lesbian theory that ascribe he him lesbianism as a possible thing. Whether or not I agree with those aspects of that theory does not mean I do not listen to them or not aware of them. If you would like to make the argument, you are free to. I don't think there's much prescriptive benefit in destroying the meaning of lesbian, much in the same way that I have made arguments in the past against the creation of new gender terminology. It's consistent. I feel with like my it's something opinion. you should like study a bit more because he him lesbian has actually been around for decades and it started with earlier feminist movements where um, butch lesbians were bucking against the patriarchy and started referring to themselves as husbands or he or him with their significant others because at the time women's identity was only really socially um, promoted or um, valid due to their husband and their marital status. I'm aware that lesbians and that is have where he, him, lesbians actually came from. Yes, and that nonconformity um, that has a history of le within the history of lesbianism would only mean something if there were people like me saying that lesbian actually has a meaning. If we all just gave up on that, then it wouldn't be very counter uh, counterintuitive, would it? It would just be... Uh, Arguable, yeah. Another thing you can um, do. I don't. I mean, I don't. I don't care as for what, the non-binary oh, part, you really quickly though. What's the argument? Oh, okay, there, go ahead. That if a woman acts masculine, that she's he him then, or she becomes no. A man? It's all about self identity. That's it. It's it's about if they choose to use that terminology and they feel it's like them going against the patriarchy. So are they or, trans then? I, that's where it's going to get into way more complicated, subtle nuances. Um, and you mean, it's why let's be let's be real here. You mean bullshit linguistic semantics that people use yeah. because it deviates from the norm. Yeah, I don't give a fuck yeah. about that. I have will absolutely get to that because it's like bucking against the status quo. It's trying to break that like heteronormative cis normative interaction. Yeah, I like words having meanings personally. <clears throat> I, I, and you see that to people who fucking identify that way probably gonna come off a little invalidated Pe yeah and people can identify however they like gender is an identity the term lesbian has a def definitive concrete definition i know people have bucked that trend in favor of anti-heteronormativity um anti-establishment you know self-identification but um i just what is the end result here that no word means nothing like i it it seems to me like an entirely vapid. I don't think it's as much about the word as you're trying to make it. It's more about the norms and the social expectations. It's about that social construct and the way we interact with it and the way that society, not really us, but society really worship those fucking gender norms and those gender expectations and the way that they're used as tools of oppression. OK, and that's why I don't go against it. Well, I mean, I, I'm a gender abolitionist, so I hate like all of this stuff. I just don't know if he, him, lesbianism is the ideological trend that's going to lead to the destruction of gender. It's fitting because a lot of those second wave feminists ended up becoming TERFs, so I don't know how well they've actually adhered to their um, 
their broader right. attempts to at destroy the patriarchy. <laughs> You're definitely not fucking wrong there. But I mean, it's still a thing, though. And 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 like, I just I try to respect that that was their way of fighting. That was their way of trying to buck the system. Whether or not it ended up totally effective or not is irrelevant to the factor that that's what they felt they were doing that could or couldn't be useful. And I don't see a reason to like shit on that is basically where I'm at. I mean, I, ended, I don't think I, shitting on it's going to do any good. I don't think I said anything factually incorrect. Lesbianism traditionally refers to women on women. However, terminology and gender is complicated, identifies whatever you want to identify. Am I not adhering to the sentiment of those who referred to themselves as he, him lesbians back in the day? Honestly, I'd have to, um, I'd have to really talk to he, him lesbians a bit more. It's actually really hard to find uh, butch, he, him lesbians and get their feeling on it. I'm going off of what I could find through a lot of internet posts and through a couple older lesbians that I knew that had a lot of like butch community friends. Um, and that's like, I did this a few months ago because someone came to me with he, him lesbians. And I didn't know how the fuck to respond. That's the only reason I know the history of it is because I started studying it. And it's actually really hard to find all of the actual fucking study about it. Would so. you be comfortable with me referring to myself as a lesbian? Um, just because it bucks heteronormativity to use terminology that isn't typically associated with a man which i identify as going after women that would be the thing right if you identify as that then no that's actually a problem like that's that's like invalidating then that's like that wait so it's in, so it's invalidating. Like that's a really so reactionary it's in, take so it's invalid you know no it. it's not so it's invalidating for a man to call themselves a lesbian to buck heteronormativity but it's not invalidating for butch lesbians to call themselves he him lesbians because it invalidates heteronormativity those like, are identical just because they go by the pronouns that he him they literally say like he him les lesbians still say they identify as women sure i identify They're as a man using... i'll just go by she her lesbian yeah <sighs> wow You're well, getting, oh, like, do you not really have a counter argument reactionary on this do you not have a counter argument to that in both yeah, it's cases, absolutely not the same thing. Like you're not a fucking female. Being... You don't identify as a female. You're throwing out this so, wait, like vague yeah, fucking. They're, uh, and they're butch lesbians, and they're going by he/him. They don't identify as a man, but they're going as he/him. I identify as a man. I'm going by she/her. These are identical. In both cases, heteronormativity is being bucked. You're only supporting one right, of them because you you've been told to, to support one of them. She, her, gay. You've been... If you wanted to go by she, her, gay to fucking buck, then go ahead. But then, like, you just trying to, like, say you're a lesbian to get in there is You've be, been like, told cringe. which one to be in support of and which one is reactionary. They're I identical ideologically. I literally just said if you wanted to go by she, her, gay, that would be identical fucking binary, right? That that would be the identical fucking juxtaposition. So if there were he, him, lesbians she, that wanted to call her themselves lesbian, you. If there that's were he, not him, the fucking juxtaposition. If there were he, the him, lesbians system. calling themselves gay, would you call them reactionary? Probably. <laughs> really? I guess I'd, I'd, I'd have to actually see that fucking happen and be able to assess it. What you're trying to do right now is just like create this like hyperbolic what if to like fucking completely destroy the idea no, I'm instead of I'm like pointing fucking out, I'm pointing understanding out the, that this has existed way before you oh, I'm pointing it's out, not an idea that needs he, to be fought I'm pointing out that you're an ideologue that you don't care about the underlying ideology you've just been told which has historical precedent and which is woke and which is problematic who told and me? that you're assigning I don't, me. you know, I'm going to be honest. I don't know who told you, Izzy, but your vitriolic right, reaction to something like that is ideologically like... identical to what you suggested when you would be fine with the no, he, him, you're lesbian using thing. she, her lesbian would not be uh, the exact how? opposite to it. It wouldn't you using she, her gay would be how. OK, so you have a problem with the lesbians using he, him, gay with one another. I don't understand what the distinction is between these groups, except one is precedent. And one doesn't. I feel like you're just hyper trying to police how people fucking identify right now on the um, wait, how semantics am I trying to police? Wait, language. you're the one saying I'm a reactionary for identifying as a she, her reaction, uh, lesbian. No, you're literally only doing that to get the reactionary. So no, that you I'm can pointing say that out that they're identical shit. and you don't have a counter argument. You're just saying one is reactionary and one isn't. I literally said that, that, that like saying you're a she, her lesbian isn't identical and you're not responding to that at all. How is it different? Is heteronormativity not being bucked? If you wanted that, if you wanted to take the exact identical argument with you being assigned male at birth, it would be you being she, uh, she, her gay. Would it or would it not? Uh, yeah. What difference does it make whether I identify as she, her gay or she, her lesbian in regards to fighting heteronormativity? You, you don't know. And I don't know because this is just meaningless semantics to play with the definition of existing words in a bland, blith, useless attempt to fight heteronormativity. There's a reason why this ideological trend hasn't continued to today. This is a meaningless argument. And, and my original argument in the clip that was clipped out of context was me saying that words and identity are complicated. We shouldn't fuss about them too much. That, that part I'll agree with you on. We really shouldn't be fuss. It's an issue. All right. What about the, uh, what about the NB thing?
the MB thing you just seem to paint with a pretty broad brush, and that's what everybody seems to be like really pissed about. Um, I mean, I'm factually correct on this. Is there something? What, what specific issue? Are you like factually correct on yes. it? Because aren't there MB people who would be assigned male at birth that don't look anywhere near like they're uh, expected societal that would get reactions from them being with someone? Yeah, that's why I never aren't said there... all NB people. I said some NB people in some circumstances. Yes. I can't remember exactly. I thought it was. I would never say shit, all but... NB people. Uh, uh, all that's look... that's that's literally what people are getting mad about. Is that yeah? Is no it shit. Like because these communities are I, stupid. I don't think that that one's ridiculous. I'm pointing out that um, that that in that one, like you weren't actually too fucking disgustingly overboard. It just seemed like a really broad brush. But it wasn't because I didn't say all. They interpreted enough. all because these communities act in bad faith. See, now you're making it about the entire community. The community of people who interpreted that from what I said are acting in bad faith because I refuse to believe any adult capable of managing a Twitter account could interpret what I said in such a bad way. I... <laughs> My quote, the quote from the 30 second clip. Now, now the community isn't like the NB or, or trans or LGBTQ community. It's the community of trans people. No, uh, no, no. In this no, case, it's it was the, the community it's, of people on Twitter. It's the woke school. But that's community. not the way people are taking it when you say fucking community so vaguely. It's like uh, you're well, swinging at you the can, fucking trans community. Can, again. Well, my community is largely a trans community too. So I'm obviously not referring to them. It's the woke school community, the Twitter community, whatever you want to say. I'm not, don't, you can't ascribe conspiratorial intent to me when I say that community. I'm talking about the community that's ascribing these bad intentions to me the 30 second clip pretty clearly simply stated that um nb uh, identity versus sexual attraction can be complicated and that it wouldn't really be reasonable to call a straight person queer if they found themselves attracted to an nb who was assigned the sex at, or the gender at birth that they find themselves typically attracted to so that's the part i do be. actually disagree with though that's the part that i i, I do disagree with um, I do believe if you're dating a non-binary person and you respect their identity, then yeah, you're you're LGBTQ. You're you're not you're not fucking het. That's for damn sure. Uh, okay. I mean, I don't think that's necessarily the case. No. How? How is that not the case? Um, if you just see them as what like, like they were assigned, then you're dating someone and you don't actually fucking respect their identity. No, you can respect somebody's identity, but still be attracted to them because of their association with the biological characteristics that are associated with the gender they were assigned at birth. I it, it's being uh, OK. All right. This is going to like break into massive fucking nuance again if we really do it. it's just gonna break into fucking okay I, I had this discussion earlier on the stream you know there are lots of trans girls who will go on grinder to fuck gay dudes right there are yeah yeah this is really common so are those gay dudes suddenly like pan or bi because they're fucking a, a trans woman who passes who doesn't pass who um who looks more masculine i don't think anyone could reasonably say that because attraction is a lot more complicated than one's identity identity is in the skull we don't look at people's skulls when we decide who we want to fuck we generally look at their body, their behavior, performance, uh, demeanor, personality. I man, I, 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 I don't know. I don't know. Anything I give is going to sound too fucking anecdotal and it's going to start breaking into fucking semantics again. But I don't I disagree. Don't think... this, isn't always, this isn't always the case. There are absolutely exceptions to this. I'm just saying in some circumstances, I think that being straight and being into a non-binary person sexually, and I think that was the context of the discussion, doesn't make you queer because you can be attracted to, if you're into tits, and you're into a fucking uh, pussy or whatever. And it's Isn't this just person. like breaking down identity to fucking like physical characteristics then though? No, like, not identity, that's what it's sexual, like. sexual attraction, not identity. They're still envy, no matter what they have on their body. I don't think NBs are no longer envy if like a straight dude is into them or whatever. That'd be pretty weird. But I think that the... Um, if a straight dude is attracted generally into people with long hair, tits, and a pussy, and they see someone with those characteristics, and they have sex with them, knowing they're non-binary, I don't think it necessarily changes their sexual identity. Now, that it could, but it doesn't necessarily change their sexual identity. I... I don't know, because I really have a hard time weighing that with the, the the like age old debate that usually when you like talk with someone who says they wouldn't date a trans person and just that overall blanket usually stems from actual fucking transphobia. When it does comes to the things that like fucking sexually attract you, it does like link in and phase with your sexuality and can also overlap with pre-existing biases. So like 
looking at this statement, right? I mean, if it's like a fucking one night stand hookup and the person just wants to fuck, it is what it is, right? Like you said, plenty of trans women end up fucking gay guys because we're fucking horny and not dating someone. And it's really fucking hard to find a cis het person that's actually okay with fucking a trans person. Um, so yeah, you, it, it's been an age old fucking thing. It's that's literally happened since the dawn of the fucking community and it'll continue to happen long after we're all fucking gone. So like in the in the senses of like a one night stand, yeah, I'd I'd probably agree with your overall statement. I I would say I don't think a straight person can be in like a long term loving relationship with a non binary person and still see themselves as actually straight and respect that. They'd have to be at least like hetero flexible or fucking questioning to to equal that. But sexuality point of is an identity, is it not? There are lesbians who are nonetheless married to a man who love that man and are attracted to them, and it's a cisgender man, but they still call themselves lesbians. Now, whether or not that description is accurate, I don't like it when people just play with words, personally. I like words having meanings because it makes it easier to argue for given points. But I just think it's a little bit reductive to say that if you, like, touch, if you, like, fuck an envy person, you're by definition queer. You'd have to be, because no matter what gender you're assigned at birth, fucking an envy person would make you queer, by, by definition of being an envy, that, like, doing so instantly makes you so. What if they only identify as envy a month after you have sex with them? Does it, does it like, retroactively? I don't know. But that's all oh, I was no, saying. At the, time, at the time, you were definitely, like, fucking passing as cis and yada, yada, yada. A lot of that's envy people pass as cis 24-7. And, and, yeah, and if they don't, like, make it about fucking identity and they don't have those long in-depths, then obviously that person isn't, like, like fucking knowledgeable or informed or interested in that por portion of I, I guess it comes down to the difference of like the one night stand and like the actual respecting and loving relationship then we don't disagree so, there, we agree yeah. there's nuance on the subject but broadly speaking it's possible for attraction towards an envy person to not be component of a queer sexual identity yeah this at, is that's 100 what point, i said yeah. That's, yeah. yeah then why did people get so fucking mad over it and why should i take their criticism seriously i i think the clip in the clip i watched um it's uh, the one Eva uh, put a link up to. It's much longer than 30 seconds and gives like the actual context. I don't really feel like you went into that nuance. And I think people just really latched onto it because there's a lot of people that have a fucking Vosh hate boner and have yeah, for a very long time. There are. And it makes it really difficult for me to assess which communities are coming at me um, to, to criticize my points in good faith. But to this day, like I still have yet to see like any real good criticism from these groups when it comes to my behavior. We disagree on certain things, but I think I can back up my disagreement with some some pretty substantial, you know, um, counter arguments. I like the disagreement because it keeps me on my toes. I don't want to fall into a rut or anything, but I just don't like it when people accuse me of, say, of, of, of not engaging with these arguments or of ignoring them when most of them are like shit flinging and screeching from the peanut gallery. I, yeah, I haven't seen a lot of um, reaction from you to them. So I can't honestly say I don't think you take these critiques or you you do or you don't. Today's reactions are what made me feel like this was really fucking reactionary and not healthily engaging. Um, and that's why I finally fucking was just like, okay, you know what? If, if I'm going to critique it, I'm going to fucking speak up. And I made the fucking Twitter thread and then I fucking started messaging in here. Um, because, yeah, it just... Um, Today's definitely looked like bad faith, and that's what people are gonna 100% try to portray you in. So here's what fucking molding because they want the 2.7k viewers. That I want, I want to argue everything I say there, especially the part where I called all femoids duplicitous trash. All of it is true. I have no, I have no recourse on this. The thing that people seem to get most—that was a joke, by the way. Just to clarify, the, I, I assume with your fucking smart ass callous self. It I, yeah, it's the, I assume that the first time I saw the clip. It's... Yeah, I, I make the jokes about I make jokes about women more often than any because I feel they're the community who's least at least at risk within my own. Um, to me, the idea of my community like reinforcing prejudice against women because of the hyper ironic femoid jokes it's it's nearly unthinkable. But it's it's edgy enough that I can still appeal to the sensibilities of the Channer crowds who come in here and three months later become leftists. Um, it's I think this is one of the key points people. I think this is one of the key points that we're going to continue to disagree on. And when you see or hear critique from me, it's going to be the factor that you are okay with that, that like fucking swinging down little joking here and there. Cause you think it gets you a better outreach to the shitbag community you're trying to reach and do you, it's your fucking content. I just disagree. I still think it's going to be causing too much negative reinforcement in people that have at least subtle biases. They either aren't aware of or are aware of and feel more confident seeing those content creators. And I think we're going to see continue to see because we have actually been seeing it, but I think we're going to continue to see a rise of more, anti-sjw or um really shitty 
uh, shit bag fucking left from this type of fucking content. I think we're going to see but, people who come well, in and start to that. cling to the leftist ideas, but are still really shitty to trans people, are still really, really shitty to fucking women, are still really shitty to minority communities overall. I think that's going to continue to happen, and I think the dirt bag, le bag left is accelerating that. But I don't think I, it depends on what you mean by dirt bag left, but I don't produce any of that. My content and my community is aggressively progressive when it comes to trans issues, women's issues. I think I do more work to prevent this than anything. I've actively stood against class reductionists and leftists who use leftism as a shield to avoid discussing um, like identity issues. Um, my communities are heavily like pro, like progressive integrated. If you go like, you're probably in my discord, I imagine. But if you're not, um, this di the discord- oh, I've been in your discord since it started. I'm still Gay there. and flowery as it comes. I don't think I contribute to reactionary tendencies. If I am anti-SJW, then the only SJWs I'm against are the groups that um, take those clips out of context and make nothing arguments against me, which I feel I'm fair to be against if I want to. Uh, so unlike everybody else, I don't give a shit about your audience. I'm a non- Don't fucking pull the numbers. We all, all know it. I'm lucky and I'm happy sitting around 150. It's where I live. It's where I do my best work. I don't give a fuck. Um, so when it comes to it in the future, here's what I'll promise you. All right. When I see a clip or a fucking statement and I say that's fucking wrong, I'm gonna shoot you a DM. And if we want to talk about it, we'll fucking talk about it because um, that'll be a lot more productive than this like wide where I haven't fucking spoken to you in ages. You haven't fucking spoken to me in ages. We kind of just like fell off and went our separate ways when you had to move to the new platform. Um, so in the future, when I see one that I want to disagree with, we'll be able to like very specifically focus on that fucking one. All right. And I'll happily come on and fucking do so because I'm never fucking scared to back up or what I feel or what I say or why I say the things we do. Um, I will say, I think one of our big key, key disagreements is that I do think that you you do actively engage in some of the dirtbag left. It may not be the over arc of your content. But like where you're smart eloquently using the fucking tea slur, where you're like fucking laughing at those gross content things, where you're still saying these things, yada, yada, in certain contexts, shift this, yada, yada, all the context, all the nuance. I still think it at least does some kind of harm. I still think it reinforces biases in people. I, and I don't think I can let that go. I mean, you're free to feel that way. I just don't see these elements of my community, these reactionary outcroppings where fans of mine are acting like huge pieces of shit because they learned from Daddy Vosh that it's okay to say the t slur. But I see tons of people who are otherwise um, unfamiliar with trans issues uh, being introduced to them through my community. Not as many as I. I definitely can agree that you do you do create a lot of fucking positive reactions as well. I'm not arguing that in the least. I'm not saying all you do is gross destructive harm, but I am saying there are elements of it that do still reinforce that, and I think that's still going to happen, whether you think it's worth it or not or whether you don't think it does or doesn't happen earlier it seemed like you you definitely believe it could happen you just think it outweighs what uh what good you do i mean You're, what good you do outweighs it i'm sorry we Spoke both seem to agree there. the good i do outweighs it in which case it would be by definition worthwhile would it not <laughs> I don't really think the good fucking guaranteed outweighs it. I think if you could do this without doing the active harmful parts, it'd be better. But that's me. I'm not saying you shouldn't fucking create. I'm not saying you shouldn't do it. I'm saying we definitely have a fucking difference there. And that's one that a lot of people aren't going to be able to move past. Um, that's fine. I mean, most of the people who make arguments against me are literally beneath consideration. And they seem to be getting smaller relative to my community. So I'm fine mostly just waiting them out. They can stay small and irrelevant and choose to misinterpret my arguments in bad faith if they want to. Um, not saying that you're doing that, but the broader community that condemns me, I think, is for the most part guilty of those uh, tendencies. Um, but that's okay. We're, you know, we're all just doing our best to affect the when I made When I made my huge Twitter thread, by the way, you saw the one with me like lolling at you. No, I only I saw the, the one saying, it, by the way, I only saw the one um, you, you taunting me. Um, the, wait, for not when I made the other one, I didn't even like mention your name or act on you. I just did a big, huge thread about fucking um, he, him, lesbians and about like different scopes of non-binary people and left it extremely fucking vague. Like most of my times that I do comment on this, I'm never actually shitting on you and haven't been. And I don't fucking plan to like uh, we go way back and I, I do still like fucking uh, consider you kind of a friend. I feel like we've definitely drifted apart. And I feel like we definitely have some bigger differences now that have come to light. But um, you are still, like, at your core a good person trying to do the right thing. It's just I feel like we have some different differences in opinion on how that's done. And I don't think there's any really any solid proving of either way. I... Well, hopefully my heart core grows three sizes this day. And maybe I can move forward to being a good person in general. Thank you for, uh, thank you for coming on. All right, have a good one, man. Also, message me on Twitter, not Discord. Twitter, I mean, Discord messages get ignored. I have too many fucking right. Nazis who message me. Will do. All right, peace.